Hello watcher and subscriber our next task related with the matrices is to multiply matrices so here we will see the multiplication between two matrix and the multiplication is quite different than addition and subtraction that's why in the multiplication case we are taking this program at last so first you should understand how to get multiplied two matrix so the important thing is that the number of column of the first matrix must equal the number of row of the second matrix that is the term and that you have to follow while doing multiplication of two matrix so we are taking the example of two matrix this is the first matrix this is the second matrix so in this first matrix you observe the number of row you can see the number of column of the first matrix okay number of column how many columns are there three and it is equals to the number of row so you see here there are three row so our concept is that the number of column of the first matrix equal to the number of row and that we are having here so in this multiplication process what happen the value 1 2 and 3 will be multiplied with the means that the first row will be multiplied with the first column then in the next attempt first row will be multiplied with the second column so in this multiplication what happen you can observe here <clears throat> 1 into 7 plus 2 into 9 then 3 into 11 and it is equal to 58 you can do calculation manually so in this way the multiplication happens so first row is multiplied with the content of first column that is 1 into 7 plus 2 into 9 plus 3 into 11 same procedure will be for the second column so in the second column what happened the first row is multiplied with the second column and answer will be 64 the procedure will be remain same then we can do the same thing for the second row and the first column so in the next attempt that second row will be multiplied with the first column so here i am directly representing second row values are 4 5 6 first column values are 7 9 11 you can observe and you are getting 139 same way again the second row and the second column so the values are 4 5 6 and 8 10 and 12 same values are there we are getting the answer 154 so in the final attempt this is your answer 58 64 139 154 this is the answer so in this way the multiplications are done okay this is the logic of multiplication of two matrix now here we see how we can do it in a python programming so here we are in a python and uh, here in the python pycharm editor we are going to complete the code so i have already taken the two matrix x and y so in x observe number of column equal to the number of row in the y matrix you can put any value the condition is simple the number of column in the first matrix should be equal to the number of row of the second matrix and for storing the result we are taking the result so in that result you have to give zero value and number of row column you have to take same number of row and column in a y matrix okay so these things are important so for saving my time i have already done for x y and result matrix so in the result we will get the multiplication so now here we will assign the loop concept so for getting the iteration we will take the for loop for i counter so for i in range so for i in the range you have to as you know we start the row and column with the zero so that first uh, for loop that uh, we will use for the first matrix okay this is for the matrix x got it so for i in range zero and we will specify the number of row so number of rows are three so we will write here three so it will take first row for zero then second row for one and third row for two so this is for number of rows so here i write the comment also it represent the row for matrix x okay so it is the row value 
for matrix x and then here we have to start with the next loop so i am writing here for j in range and again it start with the zero so here we should write zero and here it represent the y matrix so here in comment first i represent and it represent here column value column for matrix y and the column value is here 4 so here we have to write 4 same we have to do it for the next iteration here we have to use colon so i just copy this now so here i have to change j and i have to write k here and then here it represent the row for y and the row value for the matrix y is 3 so i have to write here 3 so in this way you have to keep in mind and why we are doing all this thing because by using this logic the particular index position will be adjusted so that we can multiply this 12 into 5 then 7 into 6 and 3 into 4 so for doing this you have to specify like that and then here we have to specify our actual logic so that we will store in the result matrix so result of ij as usual equal to result of ij okay and here you have to write plus and uh, then we have to do the multiplication of x and y so here i specified both the matrix x and y with the index position i k and k j why we are doing this it's quite simple for that i just suggest you have to take a rough paper and uh, you just cross check this index position and the values of this x and y then only you can understand so i just tell you in the short here at the beginning i value will be zero then j will be also zero and k will be also zero and in this uh, process the value as j is incremented from zero to two once it is over then j is incremented for next value so here actually in this uh, index position what happen exactly i j the result will be stored in the i j the main index position will be for i k and k j so initially i value will be zero you can observe here and k value will be zero so zero by zero means it will take this value 12 and in the next attempt the k value will be increased by 1 i value will remain as it is so it will be like 0 1 and 0 2 so means it will take the value 7 and 3 for the multiplication and for y the index position are k and j so this is last one is k and second last is j and here in k and j k value will be 0 and j value is also 0 but as you know k is incremented first so it will be like 1 0 2 0 like that so because of that this is the index position of 1 0 this is what 2 0 so in this way their multiplication done with the result of ij addition so you just uh, practice this and uh, you just notify the index position how it is working and uh, then you will understand so this is the actual logic for the multiplication of two matrix and then here i have to take here for loop for r in result and here i have to print matrix r so this is what the coding and we will check the output so here we got the answer for the multiplication of two matrix so i hope dear student you understood this logic so you have to practice more 
for understanding the index position so thanks for watching this tutorial thank you